Hi everybody, what is up? Welcome to the final week of financial accounting. Welcome, welcome. We did it. We made it to last week. I know this chap, I know it's a little overwhelming, but we can do it. So my problem is put chapter 12 on homework 2, 11a. I apologize, this is late, but um, I didn't get to chapter 12 until today because I was focused on other exams. But anyway, the purpose of this problem is to create a statement of cash flows. Right here, what we have here is a comparative balance sheet. So we have all this assets, liabilities, and what they look like. Now remember, because this is December 31st, 2017, this column 2016 is December 2016, so it's only one year. And we have here the additional information. Now, as you can see, we have our statement of cash flow from Novak Corporation. We begin by entering for the year ended, because we're going for the year ended. Remember, balance sheet is the only one where you put, say, March or January, because you're taking a snapshot of a balance sheet. Anyway, corporate, anyway, for the cash of state. Cash of statement of cash flow. We begin with operating activities. When this is how I remember it. I think of oil. I don't know why, but I just do. I think operating, investing, and finance. And instead of L, it's an F. So when I think oil, I think of O I F. That's how I remember it. We have here is cash flow from operating activities. We add net, we start with the net income because what we're doing is we're concealing, we're looking at transactions or, or assets and liabilities and so forth with a, mag, with a microscope. We're trying to figure out where's all this stuff coming from? Where's all this money coming from? Going and coming. So we're basically. As the homework said, going as, as accrued the cash. The first adjustments, so the net income came from this information. For net income for 2017 was 54,427. That came from an income statement. It's not listed on this, but it's from the income statement. Um, so 54000 adjustment to reconcile net income, which is 54000 to net cash provided by operating activities. We have here the list of operating activities. Depreciation expenses. The information came from um, operating expenses, number one, the first one, 61000 61,782. Next, we have lost on disposal. Now, we'll, we'll click here. Depreciation expense and depletion expense, and I think there are some other expenses, are added back into the net income. Okay, so now lost on disposal of plant assets of 2,942. Where did I get that number? Well, I subtracted book value. I, t I took book value of the book value of fourteen thousand seven hundred and ten, and since we and subtracted how much we sold it for, so we sold it for eleven thousand seven hundred and sixty-eight, and that oh, whoops. Uh, I have no idea how I did that. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I had the wrong formula in there because I was using something else. So, sorry about that. I'm... Uh, 
So we're subtracting the book values and how much we sold. And we arrive at 2,942. Now, remember, if, if the book value had been, say, 11,000 and we sold it for 14,000, it would have been a gain on our plant disposal. But in this case, it was a loss because our book value was greater than what we sold it for. The loss on disposal. Now in this case, even though it's a loss, we add it back to our net income. However, if it had said gain, we would have subtracted it, but because it was a loss, we added back. Next, we have accounts receivable. As you can see here, we have 73000 in 2017, 85216 So, we had a decrease in accounts receivable. We had gone down. So, we're going to subtract 85000 So, we're going to um, subtract 85318 from 73550 and um, we get 11,768. 11,768 had decreased, so we're subtracted from net income. Now, if it had been, been increased, then it would have been a negative number. So, in this case, it's a decrease. So, next we have increase in inventory with a negative number of 13,901. Inventory in 2016 was 208,000, 2017 it was 222,000, so we had an increase in inventory. So in this case, we again subtract the two numbers, 200,783, take away 208,882, 13,901. And because it was an increase in inventory, we're actually subtracting from net income. Next, we have a decrease in prepaid expenses. Um, that came from right here. In 2017, it was 22,000. In 2016, it was 30,000. So that's why we have a decrease. 30,891. You can take away 22,477, 8,414 for depreciation expense. Finally, accounts payable. Why is it a bonds payable? Because it's a lo long term, I think. I'm not, I'm not more sure to be honest. But it's not included. It's Bond payable would probably have been somewhere else, but let's not worry about that. Account payable, 65000 in 2017, 52000 in 2016, so we had an increase in account payable. 65798 take away 52956 um, yeah. That and we arrive at an answer of twelve thousand eight hundred and forty two. We add all these numbers and here's how I do it in Excel. Okay. This is how I do it in Excel. So okay. Sixty one thousand seven hundred and eighty two. 2,942, 11,768. Instead of, <clears throat> I, um, I add parentheses around the number to make it a negative. And I keep forgetting the second parentheses. Um, 8,414, and then I type equal, sum, parentheses, I click on the first cell, drag it down, 
Hit enter, and then we arrive at 83,847. Um, the parentheses is represent subtraction, so that's why I did it this way, because it's easier than saying A1 plus A2 minus A3 plus A4 minus A5. That's why it's, that's, it's easier this way. Anyway, next we're going to add net income and operating activities. So 54,000 plus 83,000, and we arrive at 138,274. Net ink, net cash provided by operating activities. So yeah, it's the same as that basically, but that's what you put. Now, if it had been a negative number, it's going to be used, as we'll see in the next section. So, cash flows from investing activities. First, we have purchase of equipment. We purchased it for 135,332. Excuse me. Now because we bought something, we're gonna we're gonna subtract it from net income. Next we have a sale of land. Sale of land. I think that's the one. Ah, I think this is the one that I got a little confused. Okay, so first of all, we take 191,230, that's from the year 2016, and then we add the fair value of land, which is 58,840, then we subtract, we're going to subtract 2017, which is 213,295. So, parentheses to represent subtraction. Uh, 213,295. Boom! Equal sum 36,775. There we go, right there. Now, if, if, if you're not using Excel, obviously you're going to be adding 191,000, which is... If you're not using Excel and you're writing it on paper or something like that, or calculators, then you're basically adding one uh, land for 2016, 191,230, plus the fair value of lamb which is 58,840 subtract and then you subtract 213,295 which is the year 2000 which is what land is for 2017 uh, sale of lamb because we're receiving money it's a positive number Finally, we have sale of equipment. 58,840. Oh, I'm sorry. I read that wrong. It's, um, so here we have this information. Equipment costume with a book value, the sold for. That's what we need to put. 11,768. That's what we sold our equipment for. Now we're going to um, we're going to subtract thirty six. Just a second. Let me put these numbers in. In Excel, I, this is how I did it. I put, put this. Ah. Sorry about that. 
Hold on. One thousand. Purchase. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. I put that in the wrong cell. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Um. Okay, here we go. All right, so in Excel, I put parentheses because it's a negative number, and I added them all to get to the number of 86,789. Right here. Now, if you're not using Excel, then the way I would do it is. Um, let me pull up my calculator on my computer so you can see how to do it. Because sometimes, if you don't do it right, it's going to come out wrong. So, the negative number plus 36,775 equals plus 11,768 equals 86,789. So, um, and of course this is here to add plus, plus, subtract, plus, plus. So, so, be careful how you do the numbers in your calculator if you're not using Excel. Anyway, and because it's a negative number, we select used by, not provided, but used by. Our next section is financing activities. We have a payment of cash dividends. This came from 17652 Was paid, cash dividend was paid. There you go. Now, our next section is we need to add net cash provided by operating activities used by investing activities and this one because there was there's only one that's why they didn't include provided or used by financing activities there was only one so in this case it would be these three numbers and we arrive at an answer of 33,833 and because it's a positive number, it's going to be an increase, not increase in cash. Now, if it had been a negative, it would have been a decrease. But in this case, it's not. Now we have a cash at beginning of period. 66195 That came from here because it was December 31st, 2016. And this is the end of 2017, so this would make it 66,195. Now, I'm going to give you a little secret. I, I don't know if it was, I don't remember if I saw it, read it somewhere in, in the book or not. But I, if they're not sure you got the math right, one thing that you can take comfort is this is going to be beginning. And this is going to be ending. So the number needs to match this number right here. 1,028 is our ending cash. So beginning and ending. You can put those numbers in as soon as you start this homework if you wanted to. And of course, I've already... Towards the end, you probably went through it with me. So... Um, Beginning, ending. It's got a match. And then we add these two numbers or subtract if one of them is a, is a negative. But since the homework is similar, it's probably going to be both positive numbers. So they, you got, oh, wait, I'm sorry. These two numbers you add to get this number, but like I said, it's the same number as ending. But basically, you need to make sure that these two will equal 100,028 or 
this number here. Next we have non-cash investment and finance and activity, which is basically things that transactions that doesn't involve cash. So on here, depreciation expenses operating. Land was sold for cash, so that would have been investment. This was paid, so that would have been a cash in financing. And that income wouldn't be it. Um, this, says, this mentions cash, so we know it's not that. But here, it says, share of par value common stock issued in exchange. So this is the key word, in exchange for land. That would make it a non-cash transaction. So if I'm so converting bonds, it should be no payable. As I understand it, would be non-cash transactions. So this would be fifty-eight thousand eight hundred and forty, right here. And that's all there is to do to it, brothers and sisters. I hope you. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, you got the discussion board. Again, I apologize for the lateness. Uh, please, whatever you do, put your faith in Heavenly Father. Take the time to go to the temple, if, if, if you're close to a temple. Take the time to pray. In fact, I would like to encourage you to take a few minutes in the morning, get up early in the morning, and spend a few minutes with your Heavenly Father and pray and read the scriptures. Have sort of a, a morning devotional, if you will. I, I, I know it will help. It will bring you peace. It will help you through your finals and your education. This is hard, this is overwhelming, it can be discouraging. I know I've been very discouraged. Um, having two bad grades for my exam is not exactly what I wanted, but I'm grateful for the opportunity to retake those exams. Um, that's it. Um, you guys have a good night. Don't give up. Heavenly Father will help you. And I'm going to close in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Peace.